Hello, welcome to video number three or dress. So the third type of skill that you need to know is the skill of comparison. How do you make an efficient comparison? Right? What are you comparing? You're not just comparing anything. You're comparing inferences. Okay, you are comparing inferences of A and B. All right. So take note, the clue is in the main inquiry question. So you must always read the main inquiry question, find out what is the clue. That means the main inquiry is the inquiry of the whole case study. Okay, so the sources will either have differing views. Either when they ask the question like, is cycling beneficial? Either one will say yes, one will say no. And there you have your difference. Very simple, short and sweet. Your answer is there. Or... Both sides will have same views in that they will both say it is beneficial or they will both say it is not beneficial and hence you have your similar views and your similarity there. So what is the other paragraph? Because you must write one similarity and one difference. If the inquiry question takes up one of the similarity or difference, the other similarity or difference will relate to a trend or a situation that is happening that relates to the main inquiry. Yes, bicycle, both can say that cycling is beneficial, but they can differ on why. Both can say it's beneficial, but they can differ on why it's beneficial. Or, both one can say it's beneficial, one can say it's not beneficial, but they can agree that more people are using it, right? Or they can agree that it helps people to save money. So this is what I mean by the situation, right? So either similar but different in terms of the reason why. Or different in that. Or similar in that they both agree that there is some sort of trend happening. So for example, if this is the main inquiry, is bicycle sharing beneficial? And let's say just nice, they disagree because one say beneficial, one say not beneficial. So give me the basis of comparison. First, D and E are different with regards to the issue or the benefits. If you're stuck, you can always use the word with regards to. And this helps you to explain the topic. What is the topic? What am I comparing? I'm comparing the benefits of bicycle rental. Then I give me a very clear contrast between D and E because D states that or oh don't I'll change the states, huh? change it to tells huh? D tells me that rental bicycles are beneficial. While the other source tells me that they are harmful. So can you see that there's a direct contrast between beneficial and harmful? And okay, direct contrast between these two, the direct opposites, and also I have the same topic. I'm not comparing apples with with oranges. I'm comparing apples with apples. Okay, same thing. But one person may think apples are good for health, another person may think apples are uh not good for health, for example. So you must compare the same thing. That is what I mean by your criteria of comparison has to match. Okay, then after that, you go on and do the same thing again. Just evidence, explain D first. Use the linking word on the other hand. Or you can also use however to link. And then you state the other evidence explained. So just like your normal inference. Alright, so I won't go into detail on how to do this properly. You can refer to video number one. So for similarity... <coughs> Okay, for in this case, the difference is already the main inquiry question. So my similarity will be about a trend. And in this case, what is the trend? Is that although they disagree in whether it's beneficial, they both agree that in some way it helps people to save money. So this is a trend I notice, right? So when I do similarity, I do not need to give a second line telling me the difference in the inferences because they are the same. So my first line already has the topic, which is rental bicycles. And my inference, which is both agree that it helps people to save money. Right. 
because A says that then evidence A blah, blah 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 and then my linking word similarly evidence B and then I can explain both together alright these, these mean that both sources agree that due to the cheap cost of rental bicycles many people are making use of this service so yes I can explain both sources together in my last line for my similarity so there's a difference between difference and similarity difference you have to give me the criteria of comparison by using with regards to if you want then telling me the two inferences and in similarity what I'm doing is I'm just in my first line writing about the topic and my inference to the point because they are the same all right <clears throat> so let's go through some of the common errors that people will make that students will make like you students like you not answering the question you didn't even write the word difference or similarity you simply go to d tells me that bicycles are beneficial while e tells me that bicycles are harmful sounds correct but it's not correct because you don't have the word similar or different so make sure your first line has the word i know it's very obvious but trust me students do make this mistake in the exam conditions so you must be very mindful of what you're doing and check whether you have answered all questions okay second thing they do not match when will this happen it happens when your inference is too long right most of the time this happens because your inference starts to become two to three sentences and that's too long go to the point what is the main point of comparison then you will not you will not have a in, that uh, have a comparison that doesn't match example here the wrong answer d tells me it's beneficial but e tells me that users prefer to walk one is talking about bicycles the other one is talking about the users so the main characters are different your comparison is completely off and it's different, it's wrong. It's called an invalid comparison. You will get your two marks. That's all. Compared to this answer, D tells me bicycles are beneficial. But E tells me bicycles are handful. So you're both talking about bicycles and you're having a direct contrast in your inference. Okay. Third one. Lifted. Okay, again, this goes back to your basic inference again. Do not do a basic comparison and tell me both are talking about bicycles. Okay, never use this thing called talking about because it is quite obvious that this whole source space is about bicycles. If you tell me they're similar in that they're both talking about bicycles, about what about bicycles specifically you did not mention, then you get an invalid. Again, you'll go back to two marks. So please don't do that. And number three goes back to the same point again. Do not give me vague evidences that do not tell me specifically about benefits or harm. An explanation that is just repeating the inference or repeating the evidence. Alright, you will go back to three marks. So don't waste your time. Close all the gaps. Alright, so this is for video number three on comparison skills.